It's my birthday week, I'm turning 40, and if you are like me, you probably also feel very vulnerable, contemplative, nostalgic, and thin-skinned around birthday time. So today I want to share with you how I'm keeping myself grounded, hopeful, and committed. Committed to my own self, because more than ever I need to grow the center, the real core that is inside, and to shift the focus. This video is kindly sponsored by Aura, and more about them later. Focus of attention is a very powerful thing. The more we focus on a certain goal, the more important it becomes and the more energy we invest in it. Our attention is like a hand lamp, and while shedding light on certain objects, other objects remain in the dark. Only a handful of people in the world, in the history of humankind, managed to get access to the overhead lamp, <laughs> overhead light, instead of the hand lamp, to get to see the whole picture. And obviously, I'm not one of them. That's why this year I've taken a decision to shift the focus of attention, the light of my hand lamp, from the outside to the inside, to get back and rediscover myself. Very few people do this anymore. It's too risky. First of all, it's a hell of a responsibility to be yourself. It's much easier to be somebody else or nobody at all. Did you ever notice how easily we get involved in lives of other people? Watching them, judging them, worrying about them, discussing them all the time. It can be politicians, celebrities, social media influencers, people of art, or even our family members and friends. We focus on their perceived success and failures. We can even envy them, which is totally normal. But does that type of involvement help us live our own lives? As a little disclaimer, self-care and attention to yourself is not egocentrism, it's just the opposite. A bitter and envious chef is hardly able to cook a Michelin star dish. A hateful politician is unable to take care of their citizens. And a miserable person has a hard time living on the whole. I invite you to ask yourself these five questions. Why should I do something that I hate at the moment? What keeps me from doing what brings me much joy? To whom and what do I want to prove by living a life that isn't mine? Who will criticize and judge me if I begin to follow my dreams and intentions? What actions do I need to truly live and enjoy living? Your honest answers will bring you closer to gaining confidence and willpower to be your own self. Amid a world of noisy, shallow actors, it is noble to stand aside and say, I will simply be. Shifting the focus is not an instant victory. It's a gradual process and a lot of steady commitment. There are multiple tools available to you that will help do that. You can try meditation, exercise, or even making art. There are tons of practices available online, or you can try create your own routine. And at the moment, I gain a lot of mental support from Aura that is kindly sponsoring this video. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleep app that won the Best of Apple Award and is used by over 7 million people. Honestly, it's the only app that has worked for me and the only one that I continue to use months after discovering it. I get gentle suggestions and reminders to introduce more mindful moments into my daily life. Aura is not a one-size-fits-it-all app. It uses billions of data points to personalize for you, to make it as effective as possible for improving sleep and well-being, with over 1,000 meditations, life coaching, stories and music from top coaches and therapists. One of my favorite mindfulness guides on Aura is Alice Powell. Her 7-minute morning focus practice really makes a difference. It's a meditation, affirmations, coaching and breathwork combined in one compact yet powerful experience. Right now you can get started for completely free on Aura's website using my special link in the description. 
The first 500 people will get free trial and exclusive 25% off. Once you shift the focus of attention to yourself, you may notice the following positive transformations. You can more easily handle pain, stress, or sickness thanks to more mindful reactions of your body and mind. You can accept and process losses and changes in a healthier way. You panic much less. Your willpower grows. This all happens because you simply own yourself more, and it's so important to understand. And in tune with everything that I've said here, I want to share with you some of my solidified intentions for the new 41st year of my life. Refuse from comparisons with other people and copying them. Allow enjoying my own actions and decisions. Replace destructive thoughts with life-affirming. Understand my desires and values. Find a source of daily joy and development. Find motivation in the smallest, mundane things. Have courage to be present in my own life. Are you with me? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video today, dear friends. I'm sending you much love and hope to see you soon. Пока-пока!